pulling up in front of the Coliseum. We're gonna take a tour in there, but that's the ancient ruins right there, right in the city center of Rome. I guess you would call this the tourist area, but look at that thing. It's a pretty cool one. Huh? I mean, I've heard about it, but now we're gonna see about it. All right, I made it out here inside the Colosseum, on the other side of the Colosseum, and it's a spectacle here, man. Many people here from different countries. Ain't no ninjas out here. Where y'all at? <laughs> right. But it's a whole bunch of people out here checking out the ruins, and I think this is a gateway back behind me right here. This is a gateway, so I think I'm going to check out whatever that is. I kind of got to watch my step because this is all cobblestone, but this little entryway I'm gonna have to figure out what this is but it you can see it was probably all marble and it was a big entryway into I don't know what all right you're gonna have to fill me in but I'm gonna fill myself in when I take the tour it's a nice little corner right here in Rome see the buses see what's going on I like the architecture of the the buildings are with the oranges and the yellow colors the buildings do stand out and this is where we are proximity wise to the Coliseum I'm trying to wonder what they're building back here what part of that is it take a walk down this street got the restaurant on this side and the old buildings on this side you do see graffiti on the walls but they ensured me that it was safe I think these little tight streets are pretty cool and I'm gonna tell you man if you don't watch out, man, you will get ran over by a scooter or a car. The driving out here is crazy. All right. And most of them are these little cars. Check these little cars out. These little cars, like in America, you know, you couldn't get a date in any of these cars right here, right? But everybody has these small vehicles, mostly hatchback. And you see a lot of smart cars, obviously, you know, if you're thinking about old Italian cars, most of them were small, Fiats, Nissans, Toyotas. But these apparently are the cars to go to, the smaller version, almost always a hatchback. Almost always a hatchback. On this side, you got the Restaurante, pizza, and all of that stuff. And as we're talking about it, it is about that time for me to get something to eat, I'm hungry. It's a good morning today in Rome. I might catch a cab and hit up some spots this morning. I got a tight morning. I got to get down to my cruise, but as you can see behind me, it's the Coliseum. And again, I'm gonna have a tour down there, but I might head over to the uh, fountain in the spa the Spanish steps the Spanish steps and then run a couple of errands right there and as you can see the tourists and the Kayleys are out early in the morning all right just took a taxi to the Spanish steps and uh, the Sun is shining on it is perfect right now but uh, check it out you can see some landmarks right here we're gonna head over to the Spanish steps right now but let me just tell y'all it is a good time to be here because it's it's not summertime it's not hot it's actually quite cool and for the most part as you can see I got uh, a hoodie on and everybody's pretty much dressed for cooler weather 
So this makes going sightseeing a lot better. But we got a whole bunch of stuff happening here. So I'll come back. So now we're gonna go upstairs at the Spanish Steps and take a look at what you have going on here. It's quite impressive. All right, so I'm getting a getting an indicator of uh, why I travel. A couple things here. The best thing about 2023 and these free agent lifestyle missions that I'm about to resume is that we can travel and bypass all of the restrictions of 2020 and 2021, mostly in the 2022, and most every country is opening up without the restrictions of C-19 and the poke and all of those things. And I shut down travel because that just simply wasn't going to be a possibility. But now we're back. All right. Now we're back on the missions. And we're starting here in Roma, in Italy. And I'm doing five countries in about 10 days. All right. I'm going to do several days cruise going to Spain, into Malta, all the way into Italy and France. And, um, and then I'm going to do a couple of walk around tours, a couple of guided tours in one of the countries the other country which is one of the smallest countries of all which is going to be vatican city so that's going to comprise the five countries and um, i've been advising you guys to travel although i shut down travel until all the restrictions have been lifted almost worldwide but i encourage you guys to travel just to get an indication of how big the world is what opportunities that you have you know the misconceptions that you might have about your environment do they carry over into other people's environment? The humbleness that it takes to, to travel or the ability for travel to humble you, meaning that you're gonna see a lot of things, all right, that uh, is their world. These things of, of their world and they're not really concerned about the issues that you're going through in your life. Although they may be big issues, the world is big and it's vast. So that's the ability for travel to humble you. And I encourage you guys to go ahead and get out and go see these things, right? Okay, they treat you well here. Matter of fact, the one thing that they do very well here, right, and anywhere, most anywhere, especially here, is they mind their own damn business, all right? They let you do what you do, especially in the tourist areas. Nobody bothers you, nobody stops you, nobody harasses you, nobody cares, all right? One of the most beautiful things that I, that I hear uh, when I'm here or when I go elsewhere is, um, are you American? Okay, people don't really judge you on whether you're Hispanic American, Black American, White American, or whatever. Those things matter to us. But here, when they hear your accent, which I don't know if I sound country to them or what, they start asking me, am I American? All right, Americano. And then maybe that way they can relate to you a little bit more. Now they start speaking English or what they know of uh, English when uh, they know you're American. So. Uh, people asked me, I was the one guy, a taxi driver, asked me uh, where I was from, and I said Nevada. He didn't even know what that was. All right, so I had to tell him America, and he knew exactly what that was, which he could probably presume I was American. He probably wanted to know, like, New York, California. All right, but I told him Nevada, and he was like, what is that? So anyway, I probably should have said Las Vegas. If I would have said Las Vegas, he probably would have known. Anyway, man, let's get this tour resumed.
I'm about a few feet from the fountain, uh, walking over from the Spanish Steps. Everything is pretty much walkable. So if you come here, you can hop in a taxi to get to one spot, but you can get some nice walking shoes. Make sure you got walking shoes because I don't know if you just saw from the previous clip, cobblestone everywhere. You know what I mean? Like you got to be on your grind. But you can walk everywhere in the city. And I'm trying to get down to the capital at some point. But this is something I might have to put off for another day. Check out this downtown shopping square. This is pretty cool, man. This is like the stuff you see in the movies. It's not the high-end stuff yet. But I'm imagining that I'm walking there getting close. It's bad people out here. Look at this. It is crowded down here, but we are here. you can see here man the sun is shining on it just perfectly and they say if you throw a coin over your shoulder you'll have good luck I believe if you throw two you'll return back to Rome and if you throw three you'll find love I believe so there would only be two all right I'm not trying to throw three whatever the order is let me know down in the comment section but whatever the third one is or the second one I don't want that <laughs> Just a short walk away from the fountain is the Pantheon. You know what? They said you got to go inside, man, and I got to go inside to check out what's going on. And I got to go inside to check out what's going on in there. Let's go. I got inside the Pantheon and it was probably about a seven minute line and I got in trouble for touching one of the pillars. They're gonna cut my arm off and send me back to the United States. But check this out. It's uh, 1,900 years old and this is amazing when you come in here and you see the art. I'm not sure am I supposed to film, but I'm making it happen. I'm wondering what happens when it rains. Anybody know what happened when it rains? Alright ladies and gentlemen, it is time to embark on a journey.